Hi friends, welcome back to All Another Law. This is a quick OBGYN, and today I'm going to talk about criteria for non reassuring reassuring fetal heart rate tracing FHR tracing. Okay. So one thing is the baseline heart rate. The baseline rate shows a tachycardia or a bradycardia without explanation. You don't know the cause for that, whether it's due to contraction, it's not at all related, and you're not able to find the cause for that, then it's indicate then it cause it is one of the criteria for non-reassuring FHR tracing. Baseline rate shows tachycardia, tachy or bready without explanation, okay? Now the explanation, the acceleration, acceleration should be present or absent. If it's absent, then it's a non-reassuring. Okay. Remember the repetitive, the repetitive, what you call the variable decelerations, or if severe variable deceleration is present or seen, then it's a non-reassuring. Okay. Variable in the form of severe deceleration. Okay seen then it's a non reassuring okay then the repetitive late deceleration of any magnitude late late deceleration of any magnitude is dangerous okay is a non reassuring fhr tracing remember whereas the variable deceleration only severe if severe okay or repetitive variability should be present or not absent variability is absent if it's absent then it's a non reassuring variability is good right what what it reflects variability it reflects a normal healthy autonomic interplay between sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems right so that's all about uh, criteria for non reassuring fhr tracing thank you so much for watching this video take care